What is going on everyone, Xenon Productions here, welcome back to another video. So today guys, this is something a little bit different, something I haven't shown on my channel for a while, and this is some Madden gameplay. This is Madden 16 on the Xbox One. I just got this game yesterday, I've been playing it for quite a while, and uh, as you can see, this is some gameplay from the franchise mode and playing as the Steelers, obviously, because that's my favorite team, and we've made it to the divisional round, playing against the Patriots, and this is the fourth quarter. You guys can see if I'm able to hold off the lead or not, and uh, today I'm just going to be giving you guys my full impressions, my first full review because this game is fairly new now Madden 16 is my first experience with a Madden NFL game on next gen console on an Xbox one um, and I must say the difference is amazing the difference is outstanding some people you know think some of yours it's just a roster update it's just you know newer players on the t on the teams just same graphics same everything and to some point it is uh, you can hear like you know the same you know sound effects the same things that the announcers say sometimes the same that you can you feel uh, some like the same stuff from Madden 15 you can feel some certain things but that doesn't mean it's everything now um, one thing I think is the biggest game changer in this game is the passing mechanic the, in the new all new passing mechanic you have three different options i believe um the first one is the uh progressive catch or, or the possessive catch we hold down a and your guy catches the ball and just goes straight down like he just makes sure he grabs the ball the next one is the rac catch the uh receive or the run after catch catch and that's when you hold the X button or the square button, or if you're on PS4, I guess, and you guy will catch the ball and try to run after it. Like, he'll catch it and keep running, uh, but the downside to that is your guy will look downfield, so there's a possibility that he might drop because he might take his eyes off the ball too soon, and he might drop the ball while he's trying to run. And then there's probably the most overpowered thing right now is the uh, aggressive catch. That's when you hold Y or just tap Y when the ball's in the air going to the receiver. And the receiver will make a very aggressive play to go up there and get the ball. Now, this can be very, uh, I guess, overpowered at times. There can be certain catches that are just absolutely amazing. Uh, certain times, like, I throw the ball straight up for, like, Antonio Brown. And keep in mind, Antonio Brown's, I think, the best receiver, if not one of the best in the game. And... Antonio Brown, you throw it up to him, and he'll 9 out of 10 times go up there, make a one-handed grab over the defender's helmet, and bring it down, and I'm like, <sighs> like, that doesn't happen every single time, and there's also times when, like, the defender will actually pick it off, but Brown will go up there and fight for it and steal it out of his hands and bring it back down to the ground, it's crazy on, like, the different, you know, options that can possibly happen. But either way, it's a very overpowered thing, the aggressive catch. It works the same way on defense as well. And it's a lot more easier to make interceptions, I find, right now. Uh, the ball is tipped in the air a lot more. And in Madden 15, I found when the ball was tipped in the air, it was really tough to catch. Now you can actually catch the ball a fair amount of the time when the ball is tipped in the air. The ball is just wide open, tipped in the air. You can catch the ball a lot more of the time. And it's just a lot. It's flat, flat, The passing mechanics a lot better and with today's uh, today's day and age of NFL, you know, the offense is what everyone cares about, really, which kind of sucks because defense is a massive part of the NFL and football but in itself, but uh, everyone really cares about the offense for the most part, it seems, and basically, you know, they want to see more spectacular catches, they want to see better offensive plays, so passing is definitely a very uh, key feature in this game, something you can't really win without using. Now, running in this game is pretty weird. You have the acceleration burst if you hold down the right trigger, and you'll get like a little burst of acceleration as you run. Now, I found that running the ball you might see in some of these gameplays here, I found that running the ball is actually, you know, it's pretty tough. <laughs> it can be, I find it pretty tough. I'm not that good at running the ball in this game for some reason, but you know, honestly, it's, it is what it is really. I, maybe I just haven't really learned how to do it much yet. But either way, running is all right. It, it's all right. You can definitely break uh, break loose for a couple big runs I have before. And running is definitely, uh, it can definitely be really well. If, if you know how to run and the defense does not know how to stop it, if you're playing against someone else, then you're definitely going to have the upper hand on it. Now, let's talk about the defense while I'm talking about this. Defense, I'm finding a little bit different this year because instead of actually holding X to dive at someone or anything, you have to get within the vicinity of the guy and hold A or tap A, and your guy will automatically go down and try to tackle him, which is pretty different. It's something I'm not used to. I'm used to either taking the right stick or the analog stick and trying to push into him for a big hit, hold down the X button and dive for him, and instead you have to hold down the A button, which is something I'm not too used to yet. I'm not too accustomed to, and so I'm not really, you know, that used to going after a guy and holding A. So 
I'm letting him get like a good 5-10 more yards because I'm trying to figure out what button to press while I'm right next to him. Um, once again, though, you will obviously automatically tackle the guy if you're right next to him, but I mean, uh, there's a couple new mechanics, and like I said, it, it just because I just got the game means that I don't really know the full controls yet. I didn't really bother to take the time to go through, uh, which I should have done. I should have taken the time to go through and seen the controls, seen how to really play the game. But I only did like the offensive, you know, guidelines when the game was still downloading. I went through and figured out the offensive guidelines. But we're gonna hop into the next game of my season, which is the AFC Championship game, and you can see it's 17 to 17 at the end of regulation. We're heading into overtime, but the Mile High Stadium against the Broncos. Got to see if I won myself a trip to the Super Bowl. Ben Roethlisberger got hurt. He broke his collarbone. He's out for six weeks. So I had Steven Gronkowski in the game. I don't even know if this is when Ben got hurt or not. But anyways, I had Steven Gronkowski in the game. I'll show you guys if I was able to pull it off in overtime. Uh, that's a pretty cool finish. But anyways, uh, yeah, the defense is pretty different for me. I find it a little bit difficult in the defense. But that's because I've been playing against a couple good offenses. Uh, I've been playing against the Patriots, as you saw in that last game. And I don't, I don't really use the defense in franchise mode. I just, I'm not good at defense and just, it's just a challenge in itself because I play on all pro. I don't play on all Madden yet. I normally do play on all Madden, uh, when in normal or in any other Madden game, but until I get the feel for the game is when I'll start playing on all Madden. But right now I'm playing on all pro and playing against the Patriots and all pro in a divisional round, that's a tough that's a tough thing to do. I mean, Brady would just absolutely whoop me every time I tried being on defense against him. So I was like, all right, you know what? I can't do this. I got to go to the super sim. And I just want to see if he can do it because my defense in itself is a lot better. And they actually got a pick six last game in the divisional round. They got a pick six and returned it and gave us the lead in the first quarter, which is pretty cool because that was right after I threw an interception. Now, uh, as you can see here, this is the AFC Championship game. This was a great finish. Uh, I couldn't really believe myself. But basically... We're in overtime. AFC Championship game doesn't normally go to overtime. So, guys, uh, I'm going to keep talking about the ending of this game. But before I say that, I want to ask you guys, what do you think about Madden 16? If you have the game, let me know what your thoughts are in the game. Let me know if you have it or not. Because, honestly, I love the game. I love the game a lot. Uh, I really wanted a Madden game to have on a next-gen console so I don't have to keep going back to the 360 to play Madden 15 because this game, the graphics update is so much better. Uh, the roster update is obviously amazing. And since I love the Steelers, we got one of the best offenses in the league, which is really great to play around with sometimes. It's really overpowered at times. But anyways, enough talking about the actual game mechanics when I think of it. Um, I love this game so much. But let me just talk about the finish to this game. So... It's about third and three, I believe, third and four, and we got Le'Veon Bell. We're just trying to get a first down. We're on the 33-yard line. We got about a 50-yard field goal if we don't make this. So I'm just going to see what my coach wants me to do. I just want to get this first down. If I can get this first down, then we most likely win because keep in mind, the Broncos get in the score and their first drive in no time. So all we need is a field goal to win and go to the Super Bowl. I try, I believe, to go to Bell. I roll out to the right, and I just got under pressure, and the last thing I needed was a sack because then that would have taken me out of field goal range. But what I have right now is a 50-yard field goal from Sean Sweesome in the wind, downrange. This to go to the Super Bowl. The kick is on its way. It doesn't look like it's going to make it, but it barely, barely goes by the upright. And the Steelers make it to the Super Bowl. The Broncos and the rest of Mile High Stadium are stunned as the number two seed Steelers take down the number one seed Broncos and head to the Super Bowl 50 in San Francisco. I'm actually going to go play the uh, New Orleans Saints in the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm probably not going to record it, but I'm going to go play the New Orleans Saints in my first Super Bowl in franchise mode. Guys, leave a like for that field goal. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I will see you guys all later with another brand new video. Take care. Have a nice day. And goodbye.